Okay, who's ready for a shawl de stash? So, I have too many shawls. I have at least, let's see how many, what was our total number? 20 shawls. And I really want to get them down to perhaps 50%. So I want to uh, give away to you half of my shawls. Um, and then I want to keep the other half. Now, if you would like to own a shawl. You do have to pay for shipping. I'm not going to pay for shipping, but there's no charge for the shawl. So let's just keep this to US only. Five dollars if you would like a shawl shipped to you. I do apologize I can't do international, but I think that the, the price would be crazy and I wouldn't know how to charge you anyway. So we're going to start and I'm going to be quick about this because there's 20. I don't want to keep you here all day. So I'm going to start with the 11 shawls that I am going to be keeping. So the first one is called Sugar on Snow. This was one, uh, a design by me, one of my very first designs. It is an asymmetrical shawl in, in these beautiful neutral colors. Number one. Number two is Aura. Aura is by Caitlin Hunter. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm showing you the front. There it is. It's a keeper. Uh, fruit stripe shawl. That is another one of my designs. It's a keeper. Can't tell which way's front, which way's back, but this is a very uh, shallow triangle shawl with mohair. The Road of Life Shawl, another shawl by me. This one is um, quite large, quite large asymmetrical triangle with this really pretty um, ruffly border. Swimming Hole Shawl by me. This one is done with a herringbone stitch and it is a very shallow um, side to side construction. Um, canoe shawl. Canoe shawl is a free pattern that I offer. This is a crochet pattern. It is just simply shaped like a long canoe. Very easy to wear. Very simple single crochet construction with fingering weight yarn. Raincoats and Recipes. This is a show written by Jennifer Bishop. Um, I kind of test knit this for her, informally test knit it. It was gifted to me. It's a beautiful shawl um, and it's an asymmetrical construction with mohair and uh, that is a keeper. Fox Whisper. This has been so popular lately. Um, knit. It's, it's a large uh, cape, basically, that wraps around you with a hood and closes in the front with this, well, I chose this little fox clasp. I found this on Etsy. Um, and this has a beautiful... Um, Border as well, and this was knit in New Tenen. This is a this is a keep. Berry picking shawl. This again is by me. This is another free pattern, and um, this is a crochet. This is just a long rectangle with a very easy crochet pattern. Um, we have. Where's Blitz and Zauber? Blitz and Zauber, hold on, it's hanging up. This is by Annika Wolk. It's beautiful rectangle, rectangular shaped shawl slash scarf. 
um, knit with some yarn that I had dyed up for Advent, um, and knit by my lovely friend Cindy, and she's the knitting artisan. Uh, is that everything? The uh, last one, Bubbling Brook Shawl, is also crochet, also by me, and it is a long um, triangle shawl with fingering weight yarn. So those are the keepers. Now for the part you've been waiting for. The part, the, the, the shawls that I no longer want. And I'm going to see if I have the names of these. The next one that I'm giving away is Hipster by Hohi Locatelli. Here it is. It's a very warm yarn knit in this rustic, I cannot remember the name of the wool. I think it's Jameson and Smith, I'm not positive. But um, it's a lovely shawl. Yes, very warm and cozy. So if you would like to have Hipster by Hohi Locatelli, please comment down below that you would like to have it. I gotta keep my pile straight here. So here we go and over here. Okay, sorry about that. The next shawl that I'm giving away is Honeybee Shawl. This is my design, asymmetrical, knit with worsted weight wool. Um, yeah, it's not perfect. It was, uh, there's some mistakes in it. Um, some of the cables don't line up, but overall it's warm. I hand dyed the wool and naturally and it can be yours just comment that you would like the honeybee shawl then we have the honeybee shawl too so second iteration using fingering weight yarn and this is some of my favorite yarn i can't even believe i'm giving this away guys i was going to unravel it because i love the yarn so much but if you would like honeybees shawl too in the fingering weight please comment below the next one I'm giving away is, hold on, Where, why don't I have the name of it here? That's really weird. The Gingerberry Shawl. The Gingerberry Shawl. I don't know why I'm giving this one away either. I really love it. Yarn that I hand dyed with Matter Root. Uh, it's an asymmetrical triangle. Seems to be my favorite uh, I don't know, my favorite, my favorite kind. And this is a free knitting pattern. If you would like the gingerberry shawl, please comment. Okay. Then we have this one. Some of you, if you've been watching for a long time, you may remember this one. This was a mis mishmash of yarns. Um, we're just going to call it the mishmash shawl but it is all different weights and types of yarn and this is what you end up with, an asymmetrical, beautiful masterpiece that you could wrap easily around you four or five times, keep you warm. The next one that I am giving away is the front porch shawl. I, this barely got any, anywhere, any use at all because the colors just didn't suit me, or I don't know. I'm just not crazy about the variegation in the color, but this is a pretty cool design by me. You can tell you wrap, you know, this mohair part goes on your back and shoulders and you wrap the front around you to keep it on. That is the front porch shawl designed by me. Then we have this is another like crazy asymmetrical long wrap that I knit out of thick and thin wool quite a long time ago. I don't even remember what the design is called. I think it's by, I think it's just called, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to call it um, thick and thin, thick and thin shawl. It's the only one I have in here that's thick and thin. So call it the thick and thin shawl if you would like it. Five bucks for shipping. I think I have two more. I have this one, which I just made this past summer, which is the Tulip Shawl. Let's see, Tulip Shawlette. 
Am I showing you the front? I think, no, am I? I don't know. Anyway, this is a crochet shawl, pretty small little um, triangle shaped shawl. I think this would even be sweet for a child. If you would like to have this crocheted shawl called the Tulip Shawlette, please comment below the name of the shawl. And then this isn't a shawl at all, but it is something that I um, created. I, it's a cowl. Um, I know I used all naturally dyed um, rectangles, squares, whatever they are, and I sewed them all together and made this cool tube which can twist and fit around your neck a couple times. It's, it's held with mohair. Um, I had so much fun creating this when I was at the Squam Retreat, so I have a lot of memories tied into this, but I don't wear it, so if you'd like it, you can have the patchwork cowl. Just comment below. Whew, we got through that quickly. So yeah, that's it. That's how I want this to play out. All you have to do, like I said, if you're interested in any of the shawls that I'm giving away, just be the first to comment which one you want. And then we'll, um, I'll need you to email me and then PayPal me the uh, $5 shipping and I'll get it off to you quickly. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this little quick shawl de-stash video and I hope you're able to snag a shawl. Thanks for watching everyone. I will talk to you soon. Bye now.